Now in this corner of the field we've got a big patch of gorse bushes. And while you might think not much will be going through here, there's a hell of a lot of hair on the ground. Not sheep's wool, but hair of something. And a lot of it is white, which makes me think it's either a fox rubbing itself on here, or it's off a badger, because badgers are predominantly black and white. Um, this looks like a scent marking post. It's basically just the snapped off trunk of a piece of gorse. I'll bring the camera in to let you have a close look, but there's hair all over it, and it has been worn down. I think that's a scent marking post, and we do have a exit there and an exit behind me. So this is a bit of a run through. Could possibly be a good place to set the camera. I'm just looking for a sensible place to set it. I'll find somewhere. I'm going to set it here. Check this out. Now you have to have good eyes, but that is a hair. It's quite a long hair as well. I'm just wondering if it was possibly off cows, although I don't see any cow prints and there isn't any cows in the field. That's quite long. It looks, certainly looks longer than a fox's chin hair. Possibly a badger. More hairs. There's hairs all over the place. And here we go. You can see how that's been worn down and it's slightly blackened. Same with this bit. I'd like to think something was scent marking here. And again, you can see all the hair around here as well. Hmm. A couple of fresh rabbit droppings as well here. So they're obviously travelling through here. So, most likely, fox, badger, and rabbit. We'll just have to see what we get. I'm going to set the camera up here, looking straight towards that scent post and out to the main field. It's been raining quite heavily, so there's no visible prints off anything. But as the main part of the field is behind the camera, I'm going to set it up looking towards there, thinking that something's going to come across the field and into this bit of cover. Um, so I should be able to get a video or photo of it head on, which is always better than getting its back end. That looks about right. Very difficult to get these things lined up because you don't have a viewfinder. Yeah, it'll be right. Hopefully we'll get something on this one. Take a look at this one.
two words. Pond Guru wins. Right, I should really just explain what you've seen in all those pictures and video clips. We had blackbirds, uh, I think there was grey tits, robins, possibly a blue tit, there was some field fares, thrushes, pigeons, pheasants, my cat using the mark and post. <laughs> that area where I was filming was fairly near my house. Um, and we had fox and badger and mice as well. There was some little mice running around there. I have no idea why that particular area is so popular, but it's the only, it's the only really good bit of cover in a large part of the field. So it's just very, very popular with the wildlife. I really hit on well there, and that is a definite win. That makes it 3-2 to nature. The comebacks on. I'll catch you in the next video.